Hi, I'm Cy Joy with the Peoria Fire Department, and we're going to go over patient packaging for our evaluations. Start with a bite in the middle of the green webbing. This bite will come up in between the patient's legs with one tail going underneath each thigh. Then weave both tails through the bite you made to start the harness. Now depending on the patient's orientation, if their hips are below this post, then you'll come to this post first. If this post is below the hips, then you need to move up to the next post. Either way, the last post that you should wrap should be uh, on the lower part of the patient's chest. So we're going to come up and do a complete round turn on the post. What that means is we're gonna come out through the top and around the bottom to create this round turn. Now using one of the two tails, we're going to create an overhand on a bite with the webbing. Then using the tail from the other side, going through, cinch this down. Don't want, to, don't want to pull it on it too hard and cause the patient discomfort, but we do need to take the slack out so that the patient doesn't move in the basket. So take a deep breath, pull it tight, pinch it there, go ahead, let it out. And now at this point, you can finish with either a full overhand, which would be taking this entire tail through this hole, or again, pinching it, you can do a series of half hitches. So there's one half hitch, snug it up nice and tight, and then take that loop and do another half hitch. You then want to secure your tails of the green webbing in the basket and out of the way. Option one for securing the patient's upper torso is taking the red webbing making a bite in the middle of it and wrapping that with a girth hitch around the same post that you ended the green webbing on. You then need to take both tails and capture the shoulder, one above, one below, go behind the neck and then switch. The one that went above the first time goes below on the other shoulder and vice versa. Around this post, just like before, take the slack out. We don't want to pull too tight and cause discomfort or impingement on the C-spine of the patient. We're going to tie another overhand on a bite. And then again, this webbing goes through that overhand on a bite. We don't want to pull too hard because we don't want to uh, compromise the patient's C-spine. So we're going to just take the slack out, pinch, and then do that same series of overhands. Again, tucking the tails away. With the middle of the webbing, now there's two ways of doing this. You can do either a lover's knot, which is gonna be a clove hitch, the start of a clove hitch. And we're gonna pull through. This would then go on their patient's feet or a handcuff knot. Again, starting in the middle, we're going to do the start of a girth hitch and then pull through. Either one is acceptable. Capture both feet with either knot that you choose and snug it up to remove the excess slack. You then want to catch the very first post above the feet 
remember to do full round turns with each post. And then you will continue to zigzag the webbing across the patient's legs. Remember to take slack as you go in order to secure the patient to the basket. Continue this until you are past the patient's waist. Now again, depending on how tall your patient is, at this point, if this was above the patient's waist, you can finish here. Since this is below the patient's waist, we're gonna come up to the next post and that'll be the end of it. Overhand on a bite. On one end of the tails. Take a deep breath. Go let it out. And then just a series of half hitches here. Making sure to tuck the tails in. Final part of the evaluation will be to lift the head and foot of the basket. If the patient comes in contact with the basket, the evolution is a fail.